Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and greetings to all the viewers and the lecturer watching this video. Uh, my name is Mama Ilman, matrix number 207610. And today, we from Group 87 are going to discuss our technological advancement section. And in our discussion, like normal, we're going to present an article from each of us. And then in the end of the discussion, we're going to vote on which one we're going to choose. So... To start off this discussion, I'm going to present my article first. So to start off, uh, my article is a article from the BBC News. Uh, it's an article from Jane Wakefield, a technology reporter. And it's published on 26th of November 2020. So what this article is in, in summary, it's an article talking about TikTok. Uh, a TikTok, uh, TikTok is a very popular app right now but uh, in this article it tells us about the feature that triggers seizures in young ones or any epileptic victims uh, that are using the app so what this article says is that uh, the, the features in TikTok uh, offer a lot of very 3D and very epileptic uh, effects uh, there's a lot of trends that use music and these effects uh, to make them to make the video more dynamic but uh, the videos itself can can trigger seizures uh, to many people and because there is an online campaign going around about a rapper named Juice World, uh, the rapper died of seizures so most of the young ones are making an awareness campaign about this article as you can see uh, the article is widely condemned in the UK because of the seizure and strobe lights effects so what this article is saying is that TikTok is now uh, offering notifications or features that are able the users to skip the strobe the strobe lights and the epileptic effects when they see it on their feed so what this does is it uh, it negates the element of uh, safety, uh, uncertainty and unsafety that it promotes to the young ones. So I think this article is very important because the youth are now using apps like TikTok a lot and from this article they can feel safer when using an app that is widely used and widely needed for content creators and also their their leisure time so that is all from my article uh, I, will, I will move on to the next one okay thank you Ilman um, for the article suggestion I think your article is interesting so first my name is Nuri Iza Batricia Binti Muhammad Razali my metric number is 2072892 uh, so today my article suggestion for our technology section is new COVID-19 technology offers full screening for large groups. This article was written by Sarah Magid um, on 24th of November uh, 2020. So first, it has been one year since um, first coronavirus or it is well known well known as COVID-19 outbreak in Wuhan on 18 November 2019. COVID-19 has changed a lot in our life, like what we do in our daily life, our choice, and so on. So basically, the summary of the article uh, is that UK-based independent technology and product development company and technology partnership PLC is seeking partnerships for co-test, a new pool screening technology for COVID-19. So when you want to do swab tests in the hospital or private clinic that, that have the test, it usually has limitation for one day or how many people can be tested at one time. Um, also, not many people live near, near the hospital and clinic. Sometimes it takes a lot of time and can be troublesome to some people as the result take much longer than it's supposed to be. So this new technology 
full screening suggested that the technology can be used in any location to screen up to screen up to 40 people at once for the virus which with results available in 30 minutes and also this this technology enables screening uh, of the large group uh, such as schools classes and workplace using a new approach of pool screening and ensuring that positive cases are isolated quickly. So I think this article is interesting to be put in our session because COVID-19 has become a thing now. So that's all for my suggestion. What about others? Okay. I, uh, Iza, I think your article is interesting because we can see how technology can help to accelerate with the screening process. Uh, before that, my name is Nora Tika Fatiha binti Mama Azhan. My matrix number is 207977. So my article is about FaceApp. So uh, FaceApp is uh, an app that utilizes deep learning technology to recognize the key features of the human face. So uh, I'm sure that um, many people know about this app, right? So to download uh, this uh, face app, you're required to agree with the app maker's privacy term. But in this case, the privacy terms of this app seem seems vague. So with that, there are some people saying that it raised the possibility that this app may be able to access uh, all your photos and some personal data. So uh, in this article stated that if you scroll down, uh, Okay. There's a um, software develop developer, which is Joshua Nozi, which uh, recently they want the people to be careful with this app because it immediately uploads your photos without asking and, and many more. So the media platform also stated where people claiming the app uploads the entire camera roll as well as other sensitive infos, uh, which will raise the fear and worries in people because of course, people will be afraid if their personal data, appropriate photos is being exposed, right? Uh, um, okay, so uh, to clarify these um, worries, uh, there, are, there are a French security researcher who discovered that this app is actually uh, safe to use where it only uploads the pictures decide to edit using the app and found that the only other data that it grabs is the device ID and also the device model. But actually this um, statement is still in doubt because you know many people are, are still afraid to use uh, these apps. So this article also provides the readers with the tips what to consider before downloading an app. As you can see, uh, read the privacy policy, and protect your personal information where you have to check what personal information you are allowing an app de developer and recognize the privacy risk in data collection. And they also provide ways for, for the reader if the, the person who read have download the face app have provide their information to this app. So there is a way for them to uh, delete or uh, get rid of their photos or information. So, okay, thank you, Atika. It is a good and very informative article. Uh, firstly, my name is Nuraini Binti Isa. My metric number is 206536. So, my article entitled The Four Latest Advancement in Information Technology. As we already know, uh, nowadays, technologies are evolving rapidly. Due to that, uh, if you want to have a great Oppo uh, career opportunities on the future, we should involve and keep up to date with all the technologies. Uh, actually, this is the main point in this article. So, uh, there are four points that being highlighted in this article, which is artificial intelligence, cloud computing, monitoring and predicting, also it, zero knowledge proof. The first one is artificial intelligence. It is have, it is have a three levels, which is a uh, first level is uh, the, uh, the AI, which is the artificial intelligence, able to function, but there are no memories for the machine. And this, the next level, it is also similar, but it is with uh, limited memories. And the last one is no one haven't reached yet, but maybe on the future, maybe one of us can make it, maybe. 
Then uh, the second one is cloud computing. Cloud computing is allowed to store the data and access resources via the internet. And this uh, helps a lot of people, but uh, there are money I needed. For example, um, I'm also using a cloud computing such as iCloud. But as usual, I also need to pay it monthly. Um, uh, the next one is monitoring and predicting. This is uh, this is because the issue and problem that happened so that uh, this predicting and monitoring able to detect any errors and avoid failures. And the last one is zero knowledge proof. Uh, this zero knowledge proof is to uh, use to our privacy because our privacy is so important, right? So um, for me, this article it is so important because it is highlighted for let for points about the latest advancement as we are the generation for the future technology development. This is the reason why I think this article should include it in our publication. Do you guys have any better idea? So I will, I will start next. Um, before that, I need that was an interesting article that emphasized about the advancements of information technology. So before that, um, my name is Kushafika Binti Azami and my matrix number is 207577. So this is my article that I choose from the star, uh, which is published on Thursday, 12th November 2020. And the title is Waste Not, Why Not Dutch Students Build Electric Car from Recycled Material. So basically, this article is about a class of students in Netherlands from the Technical University of Eindhoven who ran a research and development project to build an electric car. So the amazing thing is that they actually built a fully functioning electric car. They made entirely out of waste such as plastic that have been fished out of the sea, recycled bottle and also household garbage. So as you can see in the picture, if you scroll up, so this is the picture. Um, the, with the car with a bright yellow color that they created and named it as Luca. So for the car feature, as stated in the article, it was a sport car with two seater and if, if it was fully charged, it can actually reach until 220 km per hour. So which is for me, the speed is very fast for a electric car that made of uh, recycled materials. So, uh, they also mentioned that the waste material, material that they use for the car body is the hard plastic that normally found in televisions, toy, toys, and also kitchen appliances. And for the seat cushions, they use coconut. And lastly, in this article, the student also state that they really hope that all of the car company outside that will start to use waste material for the car production. So I suggest that this article to be included in our technology sections because if you can see, it can inspire students outside there to be more creative, um, either for the technology field or other fields. So that's all for me. Um, anyone have a better suggestions? Okay, thank you, Shafika, for the interesting article. Uh, Seven one three five. So my article is uh, on addiction not driven, not driven by notification. Funds by Christina Crud, uh, the technology reporter. So uh, smartphone addiction is unlikely to be caused by notifications. A study by the London School of Economics and political science uh, as known as LSE suggests uh, that uh, it found that uh, 90, uh, 89 percent of interaction by phones were unprotected which only 11 percent responded to an alert so why people use their phones uh, in the in this survey uh, that uh, people use WhatsApp uh, twenty two percent lock screen check to see if any notification 
uh, 70%, 60% on Instagram, 30% on Facebook, uh, 6% on emails, and 1% on calls. So, uh, to avoid the temptations, avoid the temptations. Uh, some participants seem surprised at the automatic nature of their interactions. Uh, one of the participants said, I would, I would not consider myself someone who isn't attached to their phone much. Uh, and also said, but seeing this has made me realize that I don't even remember picking it up. So, uh, the act of checking a phone has become a need for many users rather than using the device for the com uh, communication. So, it's said by uh, Prof. Sadi Lohlu, co-author of the study and chair of social psychology at LSE. So, uh, he's, uh, she's, he say, uh, we must learn trick to avoid the temptation when we want to concentrate or have good social relation. To do like the cowboy, cowboys did with their guns when they are entered saloons. Okay, that's all from me. Uh, what about the others? Uh, Hadif, can you mention your name and number matrix again? Okay, my name is Mamat Hadif bin Hasnizam. My matrix number is 207135. Before that, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is uh, Nur Khairiani Sofia Binti Abdurrahim and my matrix number is 207611. To my suggested article, um, this is a quiet, uh, a long article written by Vanessa Betts Ramirez, and this article was published by Singularity Hub. Basically, this article discusses about the documentary uh, that came out in January this year, uh, entitled The Social Dilemma. Guys, uh, know or watch this documentary, but it's involving several former big technology uh, company employees, like Tim Candle, who is a former president for Pinterest, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook, and others uh, from YouTube and Twitter. So the reason why I suggest this article is because um, these people shared the spooky side me that they once upon a time helped to develop uh, the technology, especially social media. So uh, they emphasize that the commentary have one thing to say that the tech developer or expert goals optimize their profits by making us spend more screen time. Executive at Twitter, Jeff Sibet, said, um, every single action that we take is carefully monitored and recorded. Was interpreted into a scene on the documentary where there are us working hard in a control room to keep people's attention to the screen at all costs. Viewers calling Shopee to buy shirts was recorded by the engineers. So these three engineers know that you need a new shirt, a related in, uh, advertisement on your social media. So that's why when you open your Instagram, for example, there are going to be a lot of shirts advertisement waiting for you to buy. So when you get interested and click the advertisement, that's where the Instagram profits from the advertisers. Similarly, once you follow or read about fake news, we continue to show up on your social media feeds and create misunderstanding, then we'll start a fight. So this shows how dangerous technology is and um, indirectly contributes to have uh, destructive consequences in our life. 
<coughs> okay, uh, thank you Sophia for your interesting article. Uh, today I will share to all of you about my article. How 6G will change our lives with artificial intelligence, AI. That is published by Asif Razak on 19 June 2019. I choose this article because China already launched their 6G technology. So let me get to know how 6G will contribute to our lives. For the first one, 6G will provide with the faster download and stream. So it will not take so much time consuming when you have to download the file, especially when the students need to download their recorded lecture. The next one is 6G technology can connect to social media instantly. For example, we like to have a video call with friends or family. So with 6G, we will not have the experience on lack of internet connection. But the people with lagging experience like life, they will like, oh, um, I don't want to continue this. So if the user is using the 6G, they will be feel happy. There is no lagging. And the last one is it allows artificial intelligence devices to communicate in less than a millisecond. I hope uh, everyone already watched the touch screen where you see the grandmother use the self-developed car series. This is self so by using the 6G, it will signal the car fastly. And for example, the car can more alert with the traffic, with the car around them, so it will be more safer. Okay, that's all from me. So we need to choose to put in our news on technology section, right? So what do you think, Hadif? Do I vote for... Uh, Iza and Sophia because I think uh, uh, for both article is interesting if we put in our news. I'm gonna vote for Atika and Hadif's article because uh, Atika's article is the one with the face app uh, and it shows uh, that some apps uh, do have security problems and it may make people more aware of the problems and about Hadith, uh, Hadith's article it makes people uh, more aware of their addiction to their phone because it's normal to use your phone a lot but it's not normal to be addicted to it and most people are addicted to it and they don't know that they are in that state of addiction so I vote for Atikas and Hadith's uh, article. Uh, I think I want to vote for Ilman's and Hadith's article because for me, I think Ilman's article is quite interesting uh, because videos that could trigger she seizures is not something that we can take it lightly, you know what I mean? Because seizures can lead to death. So if TikTok has the feature, I think it can create awareness or something so people can choose to skip the video if they are not com comfortable same goes to videos that have blood holes or graphic videos or whatnot and i think hadith's article is good and eye catchy because in this world how many people doesn't have uh, a cell phone now and i think i can relate to his article as i always open my phone even though there's no message coming in it just become a habit to me. So I think that's my point of view. What um, for me, uh, firstly, I uh, I agree with Iza that to choose Hadith article because Hadith article is interesting enough because it emphasize about the usage, usage of smartphone, which is really related to our daily life. And for the other one, I would your article emphasize about social media which is the case. so i vote for hadith and sophia articles for me uh, i think i will vote for sophia's and iza's article because for sophia's article uh, it shows people yeah. that technology also consequences uh, to our daily life and also for iza's uh, article i think um it's interesting because uh it's relate uh technology with covid 19 which 
um, a news that is trend right now. So yeah, that's it for me. Uh, how about the others? I would like to vote for articles and hadith article. Uh, for the articles, articles about face app, right? So, um, during Atika's presentation just now, she said that there are stated about it's the app. So, we, as we can see, we need to put our privacy first, even though we want to enjoy something like, you know, right? Um, uh, face app is so famous right now. We want to try and so on, but it is important to secure our privacy. And for the Hadith article, it's about phone addicted. So honestly, I'm also phone addicted. It is uh, already become habit that when I woke up from the sleep, I just and playing, even though it, it is from wake up from the sleep, I can play phone before go to bath and so on. So I want, I like that. I like articles and hadith article. Thank you, Aini. I think uh, I personally agree with Aini to vote for hadith and articles article because I think uh, both of their articles is um, not so not so heavy to read. It's kind of just nice and straight to the point, and this make it easier for people to read. And I think it is um, overall suitable for uh, to put on our newspaper. So, for me, uh, I will choose Atika, Atikas and Hadith uh, article. So the the majority we all votes for Atika and Hadith article to put and include to our news, which is uh, on technology section. Okay, since, That's all. since we have got our news that we're going to put in our technological advancement, so I'll end the discussion here and thank you guys for all the cooperation and participation. Okay, thank you. Thank you.